don't want to alarm anybody, but I got a great headline here. Airplanes face a growing risk of being hit by uncontrolled incoming rockets. Rockets? Yeah, you love to hear that. Love like a to, rocket? Love to hear that you could be on your trip to Portland, just flying through the sky, and uh, all of a sudden, an errant rocket falls out of the sky, and boom, you're done for. That's something nice to think about. A nice downer to start the day. But it is something we should be aware of. It is true. We're talking actual rockets. Could be falling from the sky, hitting your airplane. I don't even know what that means. Uh, well, what goes up must come down, right? I guess so. And so we've had a lot more rocket launches going on in the past several years. Uh, obviously, the, the high-profile like SpaceX stuff, Jeffrey Bezos' Blue Origin, all that. Now, those are very controlled. They're kind of few and far between. And sometimes... Rocket launches are meant to. It's something that's launched up and doesn't come back down, right? It goes into orbit. But what we also have is particularly in China, they will launch rockets. They have chi uh, rockets that they launch up that will be in the sky for some period of time, and then they fall back down. And if it's some, and it's not always so predictable where they where they're going to land. And as more and more rocket launches are happening. More and more rockets are falling out of the sky as well, uh, which uh, that in itself isn't the issue. It's the problem that they don't always know where they're going to land, and so they don't always know uh, the authorities. The FAA, as far as the United States is concerned, the Federal Aviation Administration, doesn't always know where they need to close airspace um, and when because they don't have good information on what, what's going on with these things. So... End of story. You could your plane could be hit by a rocket. Well, then why don't they figure it out? <laughs> That's a great question. You'd think that uh, if we're gonna send something up there, we're gonna know where the but, things are gonna go. See, we're not sending it up is probably is is a big issue. Who is this they we speak of then? Uh, uh, again, mostly the Chinese. Well, most, then they the country of China need to figure it out. Yeah, I mean. I'd think... hate to have to make a proclamation live on air <laughs> uh -huh. about China, but I think they need to figure out this whole rocket debris thing. Yeah. Because if my plane gets hit by some of their rocket debris, yeah. I'll tell you this much, but I'm not going to be very happy. I think you're going to be thoroughly upset. I'm going to be thoroughly upset. Uh, and they'll be, uh, yeah, they're going to have to pay for what they've done if they knock your plane out. I mean, of talk air. about, you want to talk about suing people. Yeah. I'm suing the whole country. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I can, Suing everybody. I can understand why. Now, sometimes it's, it's a difficult balancing act because uh, oftentimes it is a situation where whatever the, uh, the airplane authorities, they know that there is a potential for a rocket to, for debris to fall in a certain area that could affect certain airspace. For example, November 4th, 2022, space, uh, Spain and France each closed parts of their airspace due to... Uh, a Chinese rocket that was expected to re-enter the atmosphere in an uncontrolled fashion. That, though, uh, did wind up disrupting, at least in Spain, over 300 flights. So you're causing people a big inconvenience mm -hmm. because it's similar to the weather. It's just uh, like it's not always so known. You can't schedule flights around it. And so, uh, again, massive inconvenience. And if you're going to start telling people, like, what are you supposed to You're going to lie to people? Or are you going to tell them the truth? Your your flight is delayed because it could be hit by a falling rocket. They're not they're not going to believe you, but if they yeah, do, that's true. really frightening sounding. It is very frightening sounding, and like if you're in the air, it has to be such a low low accuracy of it actually hitting you, right? I mean, it's a big sky. It's a huge sky. Uh huh. Small debris. Right. Plain, decent sized, but like the actual. Probability is, has to be so low. It's it's very low, in fact, and at this time, there's still not been a confirmed instance of a flight uh, colliding or being damaged by a by falling rocket debris. But knock on wood. It, yeah, that's right. It's just something that's becoming more and more possible uh, with all these different with so many uncontrolled is the issue. Uncontrolled uh, instances of things re-entering the atmosphere. We got to be careful. We got to be careful. Just wanted to give you one more thing to worry about. Perfect. For the next flight I take. Yeah.
And another thing while I'm on the plane that can freak me out. Every flight going forward for the rest of your life because it's just going to become more and more likely. Yep. Thanks for watching the worst of the riot. Since you made it this far, you might as well like, subscribe, and check out riot.radiou.com for even more, more riot. riot.